the largest Loch Ness monster hunt in 50 years, has gathered scientists and believers alike in an attempt to find the elusive Nessie. Over 300 volunteers, explorers and enthusiasts have made their way to the shores of Loch Ness in Scotland to catch a glimpse of the fabled creature. Military drones, probes and cameras were just some of the equipment used. Loch Ness monster hunters have claimed to have heard four distinctive noises during the search. Surveying equipment that has never been used on the lock was introduced, including hydrophones, which will help to detect acoustic signals under the water, as well as sonar equipment, which beams light down to the bottom of the lock and then throws back up images of the lock bed. A marketing executive for the Loch Ness Center stated, We did not anticipate how much enthusiasm it would generate. We've had people emailing us from Australia, from New Zealand, from Canada, America, and all across Europe. The first ever recorded land sighting of Nessie occurred in 1879, when a group of children spotted it by the Alduri Cemetery waddling down the hillside towards the loch. Another encounter happened this time by Arthur Grant. Grant was returning from Inverness on his motorbike around 1 a.m. when he almost collided with a dark object coming across the road. In the bright moonlight, Grant was able to notice the animals, small head, long neck, large body, flippers, and tail. As if frightened by the motorbike, it quickly fled back into the loch. The reports of Nessie have captivated the imagination of many. But unfortunately, this time, even with modern-day technological equipment, the monster still eluded all 